Welcome to another edition of, well, this is just in between my podcasts, but another edition of me doing another interview on location here in Marietta, Georgia, with my two great friends, longtime friends here in Georgia, Vinny the Booch Boochie and Ms. Melissa Rose. How are you doing? Living the dream here. Living the dream to be on my show. Yes, in a seedy hotel room. Yes, this is this is nice. This is this is a what I'm saying is it is like the what what is it called Home Western? And you feel right at home. This this is a nice hotel room. It is nice, but it's on Franklin Road. Yeah, yeah. Franklin Road. And no, like, but people in Rhode Island. The, mat- the mattress is harder than Chinese algebra. Okay, well, this what I got. My freaking back is still hurting from laying on that mattress. Like I I can't even barely move my back right now. And I was gonna invite your girlfriend over here so you can buy my bed now. Yeah, <laughs> even she would be like, I'm not messing with that thing. So, of course, people that's out of state, okay, people in New York, people in um, other parts of the country that's watching California, people don't know what Franklin Road is. So, anyway, so people, people they know. They can Google it, they can do a deep dive. Do a deep dive. Okay, so do a deep dive. But do a deep dive for Vinnie Bucci and Melissa Rose because she's a fabulous singer. You've been uh, having an incredible year with your music and the interviews doing live performances in atlanta Mm -hmm. you um top your game right i guess you could say that and you're on top of your game with with, we're doing comedy shows doing the booch cast yes being my my co-host for the episode monthly show you've been a hiatus from my my co-host but but still interviewing you is a great thing you know what i'm saying it is because it's good to be here with all of you because you know you're like Katy Perry, Katy Perry is leaving okay. American Idol. Okay. And so I'm leaving you. That's what you're saying. Well, well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> so yeah, that's an opportunity for me to leave. Is what you're saying. Well, the thing is, you come back for special appearances. I mean, I, I you, I mean, I, well, I, she, I was, well, it's not really. A, I wouldn't say special appearance. She had, she was on hiatus. She was sick for a period of time. Yes. And also, she had other work she had to do. Like yes. there was. Things that happened. She yeah. didn't like. No, she no, she no, didn't like no. leave. I yeah. know. No, you never. You never leave. I, I'm just. I'm just putting out there. But but you, but you. You have that status of Katy Perry. More, I always say you have like. I always t- t- tell this behind the scenes. You got to think bigger than life, but you are bigger than life because your your music is bigger. Larger, larger than life. Larger than life. I mean, I mean, I mean like six hundred pounds. I like your song. Your song scare. How do you pronounce this? Um, sacred to No, no. What's that song? Is I don't know. Yeah. Scared, no, scared. Why don't you sing it? No, I can't do it. But I like that one. I, I like Unstoppable. I love. No, what's the first one? The Scared for Life, right? Scared. Oh, scared every scared day. For life. Scared every for day life. was scarred for scarred life. Scarred for life. Yes. Okay, I pronounce it wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Scarred for life. Yeah, he's a rapper on there. Okay, scarred for life. Yeah. What's that song called again? Every day. Every day. That's you right. You should know. No, no. I, I mean, it's not on top of me right now, but I mean, I, I love that song. Every day, the um, 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 the new one, Turn the Page. Oh my God. Tell me about Turn the Page, because that's on my soundtrack for the Changes movie that's out now, a movie internet channel. Okay. What are the changes about? With, with, with Z Dimension. The, yeah, so Turn the Page is just a, you know, an inspirational song about you know being uplifting. Uplifting. An uplifting song. It is an uplifting song, it because is. I don't know if you saw the movie, but I put your song in between all the scenes. Now, I don't, I, yes. Vinny Bucci always rates my movies. He, and why did you rate it? No, no, he didn't see it yet. But with, with, I haven't seen it yet. With, 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 with all the spaces between the scenes, your music is playing. I know, thank you. I love it. I, but, and the thing is, I think you're going to hate the movie because I sing in the beginning, I sing at the end, and then you're in the middle. How do you rate the other movies for me? Uh, well, the, the movies have varied over time. Like, there's been, there's been times where I've given good reviews, there's times where I've Brutally been honest and trashed them back to the Stone Age. So there was one movie, I can't remember exactly which one it was, but I remember the story sucked, but the production, the way he actually filmed and edited and let, that was like the best part. I was more amazed by that because that's been my biggest critique with Derek is the way he edits things, puts them together, certain ways he shoots stuff. I keep trying to tell him like, dude, get better equipment, edit, you know, get some people to help, like do other things. And then he does the opposite of what I tell him to do. And so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So overall, it's just, it varies. But I'm, if, if I do give a bad review about changes, I'm willing to bet the music's not going to be the problem. 
Well, yeah, the, the only music is me Did singing. Did you record it on the laptop? Yeah. The movie. Oh, no, 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 my, my phone. He uses, he uses his phone a lot more now, which is better because he's gotten he's gotten criticism over the years for using the laptop. I think I think the regular guys used to roast him over that. But actually, I like using the laptop for scenes. Like, I did a scene with an actress, a few actresses. This could be in my upcoming movies this year. And I do did the movie I do have it a casting couch? Did the movie have a casting couch? Like, like this, like my couch. It does feel a little that way, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. love it right now. Yes. Pretty much. Casting. Cheap hotel <laughs> couch. Yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. But, 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 I don't think the hotel, your music is anything Ooh, but cheap. What time? What is cheap? <laughs> what is Turn the Page about? Because that's ex that seems like an expensive song. An expensive song? Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, so it is basically, you know, things go on with your life and you have, you have to overcome those challenges and yeah. you turn the page. How'd you hook up with the dimension? You know, I found him on Fiverr. You can believe that. Is he from Atlanta? No. So does he know that he's part of the movie? I don't think he, you know, that song is old. How old is it? Oh God, maybe like five, six years. And then of course, if you bring it a little bit uh, more serious, your song, um, Storm, which I have, I have direct that. Yes. That's about suicide and depression. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually re-releasing it as a, I, one of my producers that lives in India actually took my vocals and then created an instrument, I mean, instru ah, instrumental underneath it. So it gives okay. it like a whole other spin. Really? So tell me, why it's did you go that Storm, deep? Storm Reimagined. Storm Reimagined. Why, why did you go that deep, that serious? Because you got to go balls deep. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. that's a really. Did you, did you hear the song Storm? Uh, no, song Storm? no, I haven't. If you could tell the viewers what Storm's about, because I didn't even hear about that um, that song. Give credit to my son, but my son interviewed you. Mm -hmm. River did a good interview with Melissa, and he was asking about this. Uh, you were talking about the song Storm, and then I, I, I said, Whoa, tell me, tell Vinny and tell the viewers what Storm's about. Well, you know, when Demi Lovato went on the Grammys and she did Anyone when she had her overdose? Yes. Okay, I was inspired by that. Like, you, never, you never went through overdose. No, but what I thought was so, you know, say whatever you will about Demi Lovato, I think she has an amazing, she's an amazing vocalist, right? I think mm. we can all agree on yes. that. Um, you know, the fact that she went really public about what she went through, mm. and I felt that I wanted to have a song that was very personal about what I went through. Wow. And, 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 and what you went through? Well, I mean, I have issues with, like, depression, so. Yeah. I, I mean, I think a lot of people do. I think a lot of creatives do. Creatives, yeah, yeah. I definitely do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You? Yeah. What depression do you have? Depression? Um, I, I've had different kinds. Like sometimes it's been like clinical. Sometimes it was like uh, about back in September, I was like crippling. I couldn't even get out of bed. Wow. Like, and it wasn't even like, a, oh, I'm tired. I want to get back. Like, no, physically, like I wanted to get out of bed, but I could not get out of the bed. I was so depressed. So yeah, I've had. I've hey, had you know what? Today. You need a mattress like this, or if you got it, but does you want to get out of from this mattress, right? I don't even want to look at that mattress anymore. That, that <laughs> thing is. That, this, this hotel is out of their mind for even having a mattress like that. You should but, call the front desk. It's like you. You can't because it's a kiosk. Okay, so um um. There's um, somebody here at this hotel. There's got to be. No. Oh yes. That would be freaking. <laughs> um, but like that movie, uh, The Shining. Oh yes, <laughs> this yeah. is The Shining. Uh, but in a good way. No, this but anyway, to touch okay. on the depression, I've noticed a, a lot of people, a lot of creatives. Yes. They do battle yeah. depression. I've noticed that's a big thing. Yeah, I want to. Do, do, they hide it well. The video. I want to do the video of um, um, some people that passed away in the in, mm -hmm. in the acting world. A lot of people, a lot of actors. I mean, and, I mean, I, I guess if you will, like you know. Um, um, I know a lot of people with anxiety too, you know, and 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 it's funny because actually I, I get anxiety me on a road trip like this because I have a lot of I got to be focused and sometimes in the middle of the trip like I'm ready to go back home right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I do this for the promotion to see you guys and it's all there, you know. Now you you're doing a lot of um shows or your own comedy war yeah what tell us about your shows your live shows you do. uh mostly i've been doing a lot of um stand up on like private shows and stuff like that mm -hmm. um i've done like last couple shows i did were 
I was getting booked by like senior facilities, like assisted living places were asking me to perform. Mm -hmm. I've had, um, I've done like wedding rehearsals, things like that. Wow. Um, I got two shows coming up. Uh, one's at a, a facility. Another one is, uh, it's his birthday party and it's, um, there's going to be some old, there's going to be some old people there too, but they're not, it's not like a senior citizen center. It's just that that's happened to be the fan base. Like I was, yeah. Cause he asked me, the guy on the phone asked me if I had experience in front of those crowds. Like, yeah, I've done, I've done a few like assisted living centers. He goes, he's like, well, hold on now, buddy. We able body. We can move around. <laughs> like we ain't, we ain't like dependent. I said, no, 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 no. I just meant like I've been around that that's age group. Funny. Like he's just, but he had that cause it's in newness. The guy had like that thick country yeah. accent. You know, so you and my dad could go on the road together. Because my dad teaches yoga at assisted living places and nursing yeah. homes, so he can open up for you. But yeah, maybe. Um, but I've done like so I've done a few of those, and recently I just produced a festival. I I mean I did I did I did get to perform there towards the end of it, but mostly I was producing it. I was like editing it. Um, it was called a Seven Fest. Seven um, Fest. Yeah, this is Atlanta comic. His name is Seven. Uh, he's been he's become like this legend in the open mic scene over the last couple of years, which. I only met him like back in July of last year because wow. with where my career has gone, I hadn't really been doing the open mic scene for a while. Like obviously I've still been doing stand up, but it's mostly been like private shows, paid gigs here and there. And I've been doing a lot of wrestling stuff. So as far as going out in the open mics, which back in the day, you know, when, when, when in the early stages of like knowing you guys, I could, you, you couldn't get me out of the open mics. I was in an open mic almost every week. Now it's like not so much. Mm -hmm. I, if I go now, there has to be a reason. It has to have a purpose. Which is funny. Before but, we met up for karaoke tickets, we always meet up for karaoke. Yeah. You went to open my night tonight. I did. I went to open my night tonight to do my comedy poetry. Yeah. And Jerry Truman, who was supposed to be, will do part two. Jerry Truman went to open my night tonight. Yeah. At a different one. Yes. But what, see, the thing is, is that the reason I was there was because I was meeting with Seven because he wanted to go over how he wants me to edit the stuff together. And you so, still perform them. That's good. Yes. I mean, I did, I did just that. Yeah. But mostly I'm like, I was like editing. I had to film it, live stream it. Oh, wow. So I was, I was in charge of like the whole thing as far as the rest of the world seeing it. Seven's job was to promote it and get everybody to the physically to the building. Mm -hmm. My job was to make sure the people who don't show up to this building, who can't make it to Dynamic El Dorado, which is where we held the festival, to make sure those people could see it live. And so I, so I had it all set up. I streamed it. Mm -hmm. It was a success. Everybody congratulated Seven. Who congratulated me? So now I'm in the process right now of taking all this footage and putting it together and putting out the stuff that Seven wanted me to do. So I had to put it all together. So right now, that's like the biggest thing I've done this far. And I've got some other shows coming up in a few months. Sure. And I'm in the process of trying to get my shit together. And so before yeah. I close up to tell you what we, we could the information i want to read you what i do at the comedy poetry okay the whole thing yes um you're not a you're it's not like a teaser no no this is the whole thing this is all this all is of it. Yes, i change it up uh, i'm at different locations so this is mostly what you get but this has i always put Vinny and melissa in it so this is what i say i say i am derek shapiro i have a radio and cable show i once banged my ugly toe i need to go to duncan and have a cup of joe I also do movies and I'll put it on YouTube. Um, I once interviewed Ryan Seacrest. Oh, wait, let me say it again. No, <laughs> I don't mess up. Here, here, here. Let no. me, why don't I read it? Okay, you you want to read my? Okay. Let me read it. I, so, I, I just goofed up. I don't know. Okay, ah, oh, shit. Where are we going? That's it. Okay. Jimmy's going to read my poetry. I'll read it. Let me read it. So, I'm Derek Shapiro. I had a radio and cable show. I once banged my ugly toe. I need to go to Duncan for a cup of Joe. I also do movies and put it on YouTube. I have to take my car into Jiffy Lube. I once interviewed Ryan Seacrest. Every morning I brush my teeth with Crest and wash up with Zest. It sounds like I say wash my sexy body with Zest. Everything going on. Yeah. Well, you just say wash up with Zest. That's the wiser choice to go. Uh, everything going on in the world is one big test. I want to interview T.I. Do you remember the show? I Spy. Yeah, you that. That, okay, that looks weird. After my poetry, one feels like a good cry. We are all here at open mic. Once my ex told me to take a hike. <laughs> oh, she did. A lot of exes. I am from Little Roddy. 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 When I was a kid, I met Stephanie from Full House. 
who is name whose name is Jody. Yeah, the spelling on the back. I used to live in Salem, Mass. Later on, I have to fill my fill my car with gas. <laughs> Phil. Fucking Jesus Christ. Well. <laughs> oh God. Tonight I'm drinking Sprite. Then I feel all right. Sometimes people say I'm uptight. What you? I just put that in there. I won't give up the fight. That's true. My good friend is Vinny the Boots. Do you like the movie Turner and Hooch? I guarantee you, no one in the crowd even knows the fuck this movie is. Yeah. <laughs> My other friend's name is Dylan. We are all here for killing. Okay, so now you're scaring the white people. Yes. Uh, my son's name is River. In the winter, if you put on a coat, you will. Sh- if, you, you if you don't, put on a if coat. you don't put on a coat, you will share. Okay, that one was on me. Uh, you can hear my podcast on Spotify, Amazon, iHeart. Did you like the movie Paul Blart? <laughs> this summer, I spent a lot of time at the beach. Do you remember on Say by the Bell there was a screech? I just noticed my sweats are black. I'm up for the attack. Now, sometimes if it's like my pants are blue, I say, yes, I am a Jew. And then what is new? Yeah. Not these jokes. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I have a son and daughter. They both say I should get my life in order. That's not a good rhyme. I'm also a karaoke DJ. A singer comes up to, and his name is CJ. In Nike, Olive Garden, and Disney, I own their stock. Does anyone want to smell my sock? You should, you should, no, you should. What? No. What did you say? What's that line again? <laughs> That's a good In line. Nike, Olive Garden, and Disney, I own their stock. Do you know Does, I have a big cock? Oh, that's what I should do. Okay, my next one. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. You, you got me out of this. Okay, that's good. I know a singer named Melissa Rose. If you hear her music, you'll be tingling all the way down to your toes. This was short. Now I'm going to get off the stage and give you a treat. No, this is short and sweet. Yeah, you didn't put that, though. Oh, well, usually okay. I put that. All right, so. so what do you think? Um, what is this thing? Here's the thing. Um, the Seacrest thing, I liked. Yes. Um, what about the short and sweet? Oh, uh, this, this was, was short and sweet. sweet. Now I'm going to get off the stage and give you a treat. treat. This didn't feel short. Um, short and sweet. Okay. But, but this is a short compared. Just like my meat. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. No, because so, that would have made so sense. Question. You said you had a big pot. Do you, yeah, exactly. So that would, do you think, do I think that I should be a feature on any of songs with me doing my comedy poetry? We, oh, we could God. do that. Look at that. Okay, let's see. You need to come up. You got to get rid of the Turner and Hooch. No one knows this movie, Derek. You are outdating yourself. But what so should I say? Like, I know my, my friend's name is Vinny, and I'm not skinny. Or something like that. Oh, but this is but this is my other poem. I do this is a, this is a quick poem. This poem is quick, and the winter snow will stick. This poem is sick. Some angry motorist. I figure they will flick. What is your stick? The lead single okay, Stones sorry. is Mick. Can you say start all over? Okay. This poem is quick, and the winter fun. snow will stick. My poem is sick. Some angry motorists, a finger they will flick. What is your stick? The lead singer of the Rolling Stones is Mick. I need to clean my tooth. I need to clean my dick. I got to clean my teeth with a pick. (laughs) No, all you can say, or you you can point at a girl in the crowd, I want to brush your teeth with my dick, or something like that. Yeah, do that. And then take it out. I like that. I like that. But but when I do the family thing, I can't put that in there when I'm doing like a this like tonight time. at the bar. Yeah, they like, gotta learn somehow. They learn yeah. something the best. Okay, yeah, they gotta learn hey, somehow. Hey, right? you gonna learn today? <laughs> You're gonna learn today. <laughs> all right, all right. All right so all right. this has been this has been a great thing. Where can people find your information for you? Um, well, they can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. There's all different handles: Vinny Bucci the Booch, Twitter at Vince Bucci, Instagram at Vinny the Booch Bucci, and at Booch365 on YouTube and TikTok. And then, of course, there's the Boochcast. It's on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, all at the Boochcast. Video Booch.com, too. Uh, yeah. Um, also, I'm on VideoBooch.com. And then you got uh, all the face, all the social media handles. They're all at the Boochcast. And you're on my network, too. Uh, yes, I am. But I yes, you're, TV you're already going to plug those, yes. so I don't say those. All right, so Melissa, where can people find your information? Uh, the best way is mrosemusic.com, but I'm on everything. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, Bullshit Bank. 
and you're on my podcast too. And I, I still play music religiously. I appreciate like, that. Like, like, like either the beginning, the end, or the middle of the D shop mm -hmm. in the morning because Spotify will not let me use mainstream artists. But you're as close to mainstream artists I know. You and Fred Hill from Rhode the record for the Fred Hill. You and them are like the mainstream people I almost like. Is that why Dylan is upset? Oh, no, 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 no. D D Dylan's amazing. I was to say he's an Eminem. Yeah, he's like an Eminem. But, um, but yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. We should all be signed right now. I mean, I mean, you know, like, I'm glad we're on the platform. Like, I'm glad I could play your music on iHeartRadio and Spotify. I appreciate that. We're on, do you have a Samsung phone? No, I have an iPhone. Well, we're on Samsung Podcast now. Plus, we're on Pandora. Pandora. Oh, Pandora. Yes. All, all the Amazon open networks, that, too. Open that box. You have Amazon Music, is it too? Mm -hmm. well, how many Amazon Music? You have Amazon, well, you have Amazon Music on my podcast. So thank you, Melissa Rose. Thank you. And Vinny the Booch. Bucci. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Take it easy. Bye bye. Derek Shapiro. Peace out.